Excuse me? What are you talking about? Oh, it's a lemon! Well, the prizes would have to be a juicer, right? No, why? Would you want to win one? Something like this. No, 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 no! No juicers! Never juicers! Lemon boy. Are you sure? Peel could possibly squeeze. Something like that. Peel? Squeeze? Ah. Uh... Oh, sorry. What's up, guys? PT Joe Foles here back again, and today we're gonna be playing Shovelware's Brain Game! Yeah, so, um, we got new updates that I, not, not, I did not play yet. But hey, we're gonna try them out anyway, because this looks really cool. Last time I got here, I animated this. Yeah, it was a fun time. Okay, oh, what's that? It's a new shop, huh? Can you still double jump? Yes, you can. Okay, well, what do we got here? Fast feet? What is that? Who is that again? It was the Donkey Kong thing. Okay. Well, um, I wonder what should we buy? Oh, look, it's one of the... Which one should, we, should I get? This looks classy. I like this one. Alrighty. Let's go take a look at the... Hold on. Where do I equip this again? We are starting this, baby. We are doing it. Sorry if something was playing in the background. <laughs> Whoops. But yeah, we're gonna do it, guys. The studio wants more, so it's time for Shovelware's Brain Game. Something like that, yeah. Here's your host, the Dancing Banana. It's the peanut butter jelly time thing, okay? But hey, he's back for more. Thank you, thank you. Here too, kind. Well, not too kind. You're an adequate, um, adequate amount of kind, but thank you nonetheless. I saw that banana impression. I'm trying to replicate it. Say, that's a pretty nice podium you got there. Ready to pick a category? Something like that. What do you guys think? But man, I'm already enjoying this already. Let's see what the new update Shapes gives us. And such. Shapes and such. It's either shape up or ship out with this category. What kind of triangle Something like that. has one angle that measures precisely 90 degrees. That's a right triangle. So far, a pretty good streak. I think I just lost a brain cell. You know what? Me too. Does that have VC? No, it doesn't. Okay. You got the question. Pause for effect. Correct! Nice. We've done it. And I got the second. <laughs> You guys get that wrong? That's right. Much like that triangle. Something like that. For the first time this game, it's your turn. What'll be your first category? Slowpoke. <laughs> Zoo pals, probably geography, flags of the world. Flags of the world. Yeah. Let's see how much you know about the flags that represent nations all over the world. Let's find out. Oh, oh, oh no. I fell asleep on a train somewhere in Europe. I must be in an entirely different country than I was when I boarded. Wait, I see a flag outside. It's got three vertical stripes. A black stripe on the left, uh -huh. and a yellow stripe in the middle, and then a red stripe on the right. What's it going to show us? What country am I in? Uh, you're in France, because I don't... Wait, <sighs> my... It's Germany! It's Germany, isn't it? Oh, twice as wrong! <laughs> Phil Jim, I don't know history. No! <laughs> though my dad knows history. It's a true story, though. Welcome! You're gonna need to pick a category, okay? I just love voicing this banana guy. I don't know why. But, what do you gotta choose, mushroom? Nonsense, non sequiturs. Nonsensical. Good luck getting any points in this category. Okay, look. I'm gonna level with you. I'm already running out of ideas for questions. Oh, are you now? I'm just going to play some white noise for the next 10 seconds, and then throw some choices up on the screen, just to pick from them at random. I like white noise. I like the brown noise better. It's like you're on a plane. 
It helps me sleep. True story. Yeah. Which one of these is probably the right? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'll just take the maple tree, okay? I'm sure next time that question comes around, you'll get it right. And let me guess. We got it wrong. Ooh, just as I thought. Types of hats. Welcome! You're gonna need to pick a category, okay? Got it. Sports mix, puzzling puzzlers, and memorable events. Sports mix! Sports mix, nice. Hey there, sports fans! Let's test your knowledge on these pastimes! Something like that, yeah. Did you hear? Ricky Henderson has stolen over 1,400 bases over his career! That's a new question. I'll bet he's holding them all for ransom! Or something. <laughs> In baseball, which base is stolen the most often? I'm pretty sure it's the third base, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I play Wii Sports and I like the third base. How did Shroom get that second base? I'm sorry. In the Wii Sport, you like what I'm. What I was actually trying to say is Wii Sports. I like going on third base. Sports mix. I like going on the triple kind, where I swing the bat. I don't know where my um, Wii console is, but man, that was fun playing that. Wheel, snipe, silly. In hockey, what is it called when you slam an opposing player who has the puck? Uh, a strike. I think. I give up. Oh man. Oh, we got that. How do you get those right? A check? Man, I don't know hockey. Hey, you come here often? What category are you choosing, slowpoke? Alright, I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh, I don't like it either. Oh, I like this category. Let's see the question. Which U.S. I president you. is known for saying, The only thing we have to fear okay. is fear itself. I remember this one. It's Franklin D. Roosevelt. I'll allow it. Good. We actually got that question right, thank goodness. Category time, let'll be your pick. Oh boy, let's take a look. Should I stop acting as the banana? Memorable events. just go as, um, normal voice? You picked the memorable events category. I swear, only like half of these questions are about memorizing dates, honest. <laughs> okay. In what year did Martin Luther King Jr. make his famous I Have a Dream speech? Okay, it should be around this date. I year I meant is it that year because I just guessed this poggers okay good at least I got that right 100 years after Abraham Lincoln's 1863 emancipation proclaiming proclamation okay it's your turn choose another category alrighty what do you got to choose math zone Talking about states. Oh, interesting pick. I'm here to state that we're talking about states. It's time for no. a special guest. No, question. no, Introducing no. Roll that clip. Roll that clip right now. Roll it. Everybody, <laughs> it's just me. Sorry. Barney, the smart board. Here's your question! We got a Markiplier Look punch. At this diagram of the water cycle. In which form is water considered a gas? That is water vapor. Hold on. I might be completely wrong. Which form of water, state of matter, is considered a gas? Water vapor. Pog? Is it? Yes. I was completely right. Okay, everyone knows that. Not everyone, though, but okay. The process of evaporation is when water turns from a liquid to a gas. Well, I fulfilled my duties. Bye for now. Go away. Goodbye. All right. Now. All right, what category do you want this time? I just did CK. Say shapes and such. What's the word? Talking about states. What do you got to choose? What's the word? All right, what's the word? It's the what's the word category. You have my word. Oh, no way. It's a bonus prize. It's bonus prize time. Let's see what hilarious and witty thing the announcer has to say about it, shall we? Okay, let's find out. Cow tools. What? You oh, know no what way. cow tools are? Well, it's, it's a new uh, prize. Well, 
I took an anthropology course in college and learned that humans used to be defined as the only animal that made and shaped tools. Wow. And that made me think, hey, what if cows made tools? And I just kind of, I tried making what I thought cows would make, and um, one of them is a hand saw or, or, or something, even though they don't have hands, they have cloven hooves. I, I don't know. Look, I just thought it would be interesting, okay? Shut up. Alrighty. Neat. Let's That's get the, the show off the road. To describe the way a given language is used in a specific region or country. What's the word? Not vocabulary, honestly. <coughs> Dialect. Nope. It's got to be dialect. I'm so confident it's dialect. It's not dialect. What are you talking? <laughs> Vernacular. Of course. <laughs> okay. What's next? What are you gonna show me? I don't like that. All right. Oh, I like this cat. You just said that before. What are you talking about? The dancing banana makes me uncomfortable, but I, I can't quite pinpoint what it is about him. It's not his shape, and it's not his smell, though that is offensive in its own right. Oh, I know what it is. It's his color. That particular shade of yellow is just weird. That's what new. What phobia must I have? Is that banana phobia? I'll take Xanthia phobia. Bogey. That's probably wrong. How did I get that right? <laughs> <laughs> Your turn again. <laughs> what category do you want? Let's find out. Trains, planes, and automobiles. That rhymes. What do you gotta choose, man? Trains, planes, and automobiles. Okay. All aboard, we're talking about different types of transportation. Yay! Okay. Did you hear that? That means it's time for a potential bonus prize. Yay! Let's find out. You'd have to be an idiot not to I already have the tires. tires Wait. For this brand yeah, I already have the tires. For you need brand tires. All right. You need tires are the most cost-effective brand of tires on the market. With superior air pressure and the coolest tread pattern, you won't find better tires out there. Don't be a fool. You need tires. Bonus prize. So, huh? Well, you answer a nice question correctly and win. What is the name of the type of cable railway system involving two counterbalanced carriages on a steep slope? Is that like a... That's not... None of these are... I'll just take this. Not a chance! Oh! Hi, Kyle, that's right! Yeah! Oh! You hear that? Because they're all... The rest of the three are stairs, so I thought... Oh! It's- it's not it! Those are stairs! Obviously it's about railroad tracks! Taste test! I assure you this category is not a bad taste. It's time for a taste test! Okay. Your tongue has taste receptors! Yeah. That tell your brain the flavors of things that touch your tongue! I don't like tomatoes. There are five basic tastes That's all I have to that say. those receptors pick up and combine to form all sorts of complex flavors. Which of the following is not one of the five basic tastes? Uh... Freshness? That doesn't taste fresh. Ooh, mommy, I'll just... I'll just click this. Correct! Wow, I got that right. Because freshness is not a taste. Smelling fresh is a smell. Right? I mean, people can say it tastes fresh. Like, for example, a bakery. Oh, it was orange. That sounds like annoying orange. Right off the bat. Really? Any closer and I would have been a banana kebab. So cool. Wow, orange almost killed banana. Alright. What do you gotta choose next? Zoo pals. Alright. It's time to test your animal knowledge. Okay. What do scientists call the place 
An animal makes its home in their natural habitat. I don't think that's I don't think that's right. Oh, okay. My habitat is my couch, mostly. It's all like you. Let's hear that category. I'm some like semi-normal voice and then banana voice. I don't know why. Please do not choose shovelware. Trains, okay. planes, and automobiles. You did not choose shovelware studio, so that's because I don't know the history of that game. I'll be honest, but I definitely heard of it somewhere. Okay. All right. What's it gonna show us? What is another name for the tail of an airplane? Not a butt, obviously. I'll take an encourage. I I don't know. Off the mark. I I just don't know. I, I yep. I figured. It's your turn to pick a category again. All right, what do you gotta do? Ooh, artistic integrity. Artistic yes. Integrity. Artistic integrity. What's it gonna be? The Japanese art of paper folding is popular all around the world. Paper cranes, paper planes, paper unicorns, you name it. Naturally, being from Japan, this art form has a Japanese name. What is it? I'm gonna just... Origami, obviously! Why didn't I think of that? That's right! Oh my goodness. Of course it was origami. The word origami comes from Japanese words for fo folding ori and paper kami. Okay, it's your turn to pick a category again. What's it gonna I be? I don't like that. You don't like that, huh? This category is about various fears, phobias, icks, all that. Acrophobia is the fear of what? I'm a fraud. I'm an absolute fraud at this. Fear of heights. Oh, of course! I've, Super. I, 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 I answered this before! Oh. Is anyone here afraid of the extra heights you get when you press a jump button twice to double jump? Oh, yes. It's, it's pretty ironic because we have this game. Double jumping. <laughs> Your turn to ask questions. What category will the question be from? Yeah. Flags of the world. All right, you know what? I'm gonna be a fraud and then just search this up. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm so horrible. The flag of Canada features a white center, two red bars on either side, and a shape in the middle. Oh, of course, it's a what leaf. What is that shape? Leaf. Yep, I was the first one to answer. Thank goodness. Okay, good. Dude. It's a leaf. Okay. Did, nope. It's a leaf! How did... Okay, well... At least I got the answer. Category time! What'll you pick? Amazing space. Amazing space! And I'm gonna be a fraud again? We didn't plan it this way. <laughs> but it's an amazing space category. Yeah! Okay, okay I'll ask him. So, my little alien friend, Glup, is trying to get back to their home planet on the other side of the universe. But they're worried the spaceship won't make it past all those space rocks orbiting between Mars and Jupiter. Do you know what that region of the solar system is called? I'm hoping I can find a library book on it so we can figure out the odds one. of navigating through it. I'll just take this, okay? Correct! Oh. Okay, nice. Yeah, correct. Wait, I won. Oh! I won! Yes! Oh! You see that? <laughs> By point away from drop! I mean, mushroom. Yes! Oh! Wasn't it? That? Yeah! My first win! We're not done yet. Let's see the amazing grand prize again. Yes! Bring me on, baby! Oh! Bring me! This certification proving you're legally able to operate the forklift! Yes! I am forklift certified, baby! Forklift oh! 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 
Oh, yes! Of course it is! It's gonna be my prize! Here's our shovel. Yeah! Game oh! Champion! What? Look at me! That's all the time we have. Handsome! If anyone needs help, we can call it. Until we start GG. filming the next episode. Oh, that's amazing. Yes! So glad. I'm a frog. Super Mario 64 reference. Give it to me, baby. Come on. Do when that. Do the jump. Fly crazy. Yeah, baby. So apparently, people are shipping the banana with the pear. Well, honestly, not that bad. Yeah, I can allow that. I dada had pepper. What? I don't understand. Go something like that. Enough of a hint. I don't know what to tell you. What is the biggest sport in Brazil? Brazil, football. Probably that. I'm sorry to hear that. What is it? Well, I'm glad I got that right. <laughs> Football and soccer. It's the best thing in Brazil. I'm sorry, are you- are you- are you walking back? Oh. How did you just- I don't want to know where you- Hmm. Magic. I got a cardinal. Oh wait, hold on. We got it. Tweet tweet on street. Ooh, I got New Orleans, Louisiana. Oh man, I'm so exhausted. Whew. Excuse me. What are you talking about? Oh, it's a lemon. Well, the prizes would have to be a juicer, right? No, why? Would you want to win one? Something like this. No, 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 no. No juicers. Never juicers. Lemon boy. Are you sure? Peel could possibly squeeze something like that. Peel? Squeeze? Ah. That took place from the seventh floor, so Lemon probably died. Oh my goodness, no way. No way. I, I beat Doge by one point ahead. Oh my goodness. Oh, fish, carp. The point of I don't care. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm so tired. <laughs> but I did it. Congratulations. Yay. You're the winner of Shovelware's I did it. Game. Darn it. No emotes That's equipped. All the time we have. Oh, yeah. The lemon's still, still there. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. But we did it. Second win. Baby. 64 reference. Brain. Anyways, guys, that was Shovelware Brain Game. I'm just gonna end this video right here because I am so exhausted. But yeah, we've done it, guys. We've did it. We won twice. That's amazing. I can't believe it. I'm so big brain, unlike the others. Mm -hmm. You see? I beat out of them. Heh? Heh? Okay, I'm just gonna end this video right here. We can call it a day, okay? Alrighty then. As always, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give a like if you liked it. Make sure to check my other videos and subscribe. Don't forget to click the notification bell to never miss a video ever again. Also, make sure you start with PG Joe Films when you're buying your books. Peace out!